So today I'm going to be starting at the heat day one. I have no doubt it will be fun if Carolyn Gervin is doing it. It's going to be a lot of complexes and will just be 30 minutes, so I'm excited to get this started. Today we're starting the last week of Epic Heat. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Chelsea. I make videos all about health, fitness, and just living life as a 20, almost 21 year old who loves being active. I thought I'd tack that on in my intro just to define my channel a little bit. I don't know if you guys like that, but this video hardly needs an intro. As you've all seen from the title, as of when the video is published, I will be finished with Epic Heat. And here I have that final review of the program. So if you're unfamiliar with how I do these reviews, I usually don't focus on physical changes, but rather how I enjoyed and experienced the program. This time around, I really didn't have a particular goal in mind as I was in the middle of a pretty busy semester of college. I mostly wanted the program to keep me moving and in that good headspace where I can take care of my physical and mental health. So I really didn't make a big change to my diet or schedule. In fact, as you'll see later in the video, I didn't stick to a schedule at all in some places. But now let's just get into the video. As you'll see, I'll be splitting the review into three parts. The first one is going to be about the individual workouts. So if you don't know already, Epic Heat is composed of 10 weeks of workouts with five workouts per week and two rest days. Sometimes there'll be an extra low impact cardio or an ab focused exercise in between. But mostly every week is pretty standard. There's upper body, lower body, full body, just hitting all the big muscle groups and adding in some cardio with hit at the end. So because each workout was only 30 minutes, I was pretty confident going into this after completing Epic 2. I thought if I could get through 40 minutes or an hour of Carolyn Gervin, 30 minutes should be like a breeze, a walk in the park, all of that. But boy, was I wrong. Because of how Carolyn sets up her workout, I really got into giving my all for each set, especially the finisher. So by the end, I was still a sweaty mess and I just wanted to lay down and not do anything for like 30 minutes. She incorporates such a wide variety of formats from compounds where you cycle through a few exercises to tri sets where you build on top of one basic exercise to no repeat hit it, which is personally my favorite and she has all these formats rotating through each week so you never get bored. So 30 minutes really felt so slow yet so fast every morning. I think also because it's only 30 minutes you really want to push yourself to the max for each of these and to clarify giving my all didn't mean that I was trying to match her pace on screen or only take rest for that exact 20 seconds. It was more about finding a rhythm for myself and leaving the workout feeling properly challenged but not completely exhausted. So I gotta say this 30 minute format really worked for me, especially since I was getting busy and just wanted to squeeze in a quick round of exercise in the morning. I really recommend starting with one of these 30 minute workouts from Carolyn to get a taste of how her workouts are because they are so challenging, but also will give you an idea of how to pace yourself. I think throughout this program, I really learned to accept my own pace and keep on improving the last time I myself did the workouts rather than to other people or how Carolyn is doing it on the screen. And that kind of leads on to my next point, which was finding my stride throughout the entire program. As I lived in the US, each workout in the schedule came out the night before I was supposed to do it. So I was kind of able to get a preview and then sometimes even snuck into the comments to see what people had to say. One thing that I did change a lot this time was moving the hit to Mondays. When my family wanted to go out during the weekends, I didn't want to tire myself out by getting myself into an intense hit workout first thing in the morning. Also, I think that starting with hit on Mondays really worked for me because it was the beginning of a work week and just kind of set the mood for the rest of the day. So you might be thinking with my emphasis on the length of these workouts this whole time that 30 minutes isn't such a long time and that I can easily squeeze this into my schedule, right? I have to warn you that they are an intense 30 minutes. So you kind of have to be ready both physically and psychologically. And for me, working out in the morning was the best. So that was the time when I was the most prepared to really get my sweat on and give it my all. However, throughout this 
program if on some days I just didn't feel like doing a workout, I would just skip it. I think you really need to be in the right headspace to truly enjoy epic heat workouts and I didn't want to force myself into a workout even if it was only 30 minutes if I just wasn't feeling it. So this time around, I really embraced that mentality. I took so many walks, did some dancing on the side, and even had a trip to Yosemite with my family. So throughout it all, I was still able to come back to Epic Heat anytime when I was ready and there was always a new workout or week waiting. Because I gave myself this freedom, I was never really burnt out despite the length of the program being 10 weeks with 5 out of 7 days of workouts. So I really tried to look at this program as a way to improve my health and mindset rather than a strict rule book to follow. And if you're trying out Epic for the first time, I just want to say that it's completely okay to take a break. There will always be workouts when you come back and the community will still be as supportive as ever. That leads me to my third and final chapter, reflecting on any progress that I made. Last time, I mentioned that my upper body strength had really improved thanks to Epic 2, but this time, I don't have that many significant physical changes to report. As you know, I'm working from home, so my gym equipment is slightly limited. You probably saw me in a lot of the clips with these wristbands, and those are to add an additional 2 pounds to each hand because I just didn't have weights that went above 10 pounds. So I wasn't able to increase my resistance that much, so I felt like I was just maintaining at a steady strength level. But I do think I've grown mentally through this program. With just 30 minutes on the clock, I began to really appreciate the time that I had for myself in the morning. These 30 minutes of just working on me. So I've talked about my journey with fitness and dieting and learning to accept myself on this channel before, and I really think that Epic Heat has helped me come full circle to enjoying exercise as I did when I was young again. Throughout the semester, I found that I was actually looking forward to each morning for the workouts, not as a means to an end, but really just an activity that I can fully immerse myself in. I think Epic Heat just really sparked that joy in me to keep on challenging myself, but also not feel so much pressure to keep up to anyone else else's standard but my own. I think as a trainer, Carolyn just knows how to push you to your fullest potential and just power through that finisher so you can feel proud of yourself. I love that she's always so positive in her captions, her description, her comments throughout the video and you're feeling like you're not just following a person on screen but someone who's doing the workouts right along with you. I will say you'll need to have some basic foundations in place before starting her workouts as they are some of the most challenging on YouTube. But Epic Heat is just a great way for anyone looking to take a step up and incorporate some equipment into their home workout routine. And of course, the added bonuses of Carolyn's enthusiasm, the encouragement of people in the captions, and just how professional the program looks overall, that just really adds to the experience. My review of Epic Heat as someone who's been doing Carolyn's program since the beginning of this year, I felt like this was definitely a great step up from Epic 2, and I've never been into home workouts as much as I am now with Carolyn's programs. It's amazing that it's free on YouTube and comes with a PDF with a ton of tips as well. The programs have really changed the way I approach health and fitness, not to mention getting me through another remote semester of work and school. So let me know which programs I should try next or if you have any favorites. I hope you enjoyed this review and thank you so much as usual if you've come this far. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next one. Bye.